All right, yeah. I'm not going to blow the mic away. Good. <laughs> I thought I'd tell a few jokes first and have a little fun. Um, there was this fellow, he was uh, walking along the beach and he seen a genie's lantern. And uh, he picks it up and rubs it. And it's, uh, Jeannie comes down and says, I'll give you anything you want. Is there anything you'd ever want and that you'd like to have? And he said, yeah, I'd like to go to Hawaii, he says. Oh, okay. Um, but there's a couple problems. I can't fly because uh, I'm afraid of heights. Okay. And then, uh, he says, I can't go on the water either because I get seasick. He says to the genie, can you uh, build me a bridge out from California to Hawaii? And the genie said to him, whoa, he says. He says, wow, that would take a lot of big cement pillars down in the ocean and all kinds of steel and everything. And so the Genie was kind of getting afraid he was going to back out, you know. He says, is there anything else you'd really like to have? And the guy says, yeah, there is one thing. I would like to be able to understand my wife. And did you, whoa, whoa, how many lanes do you want in that highway out to the white? <laughs> The moral to that story is, even the genie magic can't, can't deal with the relationship between a man and a woman. <laughs> Only the Lord can do that. Funny or not? Oh. <laughs> it has to be true in my book, but anyway. Let's see, I got other ones. This is one a guy told me at the restaurant one time. It's not too much, but it's, it's kind of funny. This guy was out racing around the country in his car going real fast, and the sheriff come after him. And, uh, and running down, stopped him. The sheriff said, what do you think you're doing anyway? Just having some fun. Oh, who owns this car anyway? He says, uh, Nancy owns it. Nancy? Who's Nancy? Hi, Nancy. an old one. What do you get when you cross the rhino with the alpha? Alpha with a rhino. Somebody knows that one, I'm sure. What do you get when you cross the alpha or the rhino? Yeah, right. Did you figure that out or you heard it before? I've heard that. I've never heard That's a great one though. <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh, I made one up myself the other day. <laughs> I've been looking for a wife. I'm kind of lonely, so I made up a joke about my deer hunting license. <laughs> I says uh, to myself, I went to get a license, I said, I'll take a combo, I said. <laughs> yeah? Okay. I, this is my own thinking. And my thinking was, well, I want one for two-legged deer and one for four. <laughs> and late, I've been getting ready for the four, but I've been having a hard time to quit hunting the two. <laughs> 
But I'm getting practice up, so I can go out and get me a deer this year. So I'm looking for a big old buck because I'm usually get them to eat. Uh, this time I'm going to go for a trophy. I'll eat him too, but <laughs> anyway, that was a little thought. <laughs> and uh, oh, I just enjoy life, and I have many. Many things I'd like to do. Uh, there's so many, uh, I have so many interests, I don't know which one to do first. I like to sing, I like to dance, I like to play all kinds of sports, and uh, there's just no end. I like to swim, and uh, get exercise swimming, and riding bike. And so if you see, one of them deer out there who likes to do all that stuff. <laughs> well, James is looking for him. And he's not going to quit until he hunts her down. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, oh, I got several I've heard over the years. I worked with the roughest bunch down at the city. I worked with the city of Ionia for 23 years. I used to take a lot down there and I learned to give it back to them. <laughs> this is not so good. I probably shouldn't be. Uh, I used to, the guy was a complete joker. He was joking all the time. I think I got post-traumatic stress syndrome from it. Because <laughs> it was all the time. Joking. And I had to learn to give it back. One time I, this is kind of silly, but one time we come out of the restroom into the break room. And uh, the guys were talking about something and I made a comment and they said, well, we're going to kick the shit out of you, he said. And I said, you can't, I just went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's kind of, you know, they, but I heard everything. And, and uh, but, uh, I don't know. One time, uh, the guy liked to initiate people coming into the work at the city, and he had to took he initiated me, but he didn't. He could keep initiating. He never got me to quit. <laughs> anyway, we was making up some chloride sand one day, and uh, you take two trucks the way we did it back then, put one with the bags of chloride in, and one truck with a truck or for to mix it up in, you know. The loader operator put one bucket in and then we put a bag of chloride on top of that and then we put another bucket and we put a couple bags of chloride. Well he was trying to rush me so just he was a stinker really but I took a lot from him. And, uh, so he would come up and dump it right on me and I'd cover my legs up. There you know. he, he would, that, I guess that was my initiation. But he he never won because I never give up. So, uh, and uh, there was another kid that came in. He just started working. He did that to him. Two days he was gone. <laughs> He couldn't handle that at all. And that guy used to traumatize everybody that come in there. He's a nice guy, and I kept witnessing to him about the Lord before he died. He accepted the Lord. So I had a hand in that. I didn't do it, but I had a hand in it. But anyway, that's a little bit about my I own you. Uh, oh, I got lots of jokes, but I should have wrote them down. I just thought about them coming down. Well, I want to sing a little. I have a faith in Jesus, so I'm going to sing some 
uh, hymns, or just just go through some songs that I sang many of. Um, it's beginning. Now let's see. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. The Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And there's, I think that one just broke. But anyway, there's many others. Uh, I've sang them all my life. And I've studied the Bible all my life in Sunday school class. I never read the Bible all the way through, but I I did because we studied all the way through the Bible in Sunday school in a year, every year. And I've been doing that for about 40 years or six years, so I know the Bible pretty good. And I don't try, I don't want to be out there hitting me over the head with this book. But I, I know it and I believe it. There's no uh, telling me any different. I know who controls everything. <laughs> so, uh, these, our government can uh, do what they want. They can be nasty to people and make us poor uh, middlemen pay for all the taxes and everything. But their, they, their day will come. They, they'll have to answer for what they've done, so I don't worry about them. I'm going to have fun while I'm alive yet. Not worry about them, because he will take care of whatever he believes they need. <laughs> so, anyway, let's see. Yeah. 